Welcome to the Weekly Interceptor's Explain Playlist, where I explain prominent weapon systems and concepts about air and missile defense. Anti-access and area denial, commonly known as A2AD, is a term that is generally used by Western planners to describe a strategy of employing a series of interrelated missile, sensor, guidance, and other technologies designed to deny freedom of movement. The purpose of A2AD is to keep any potential adversaries from operating military forces near, into, or within a desired location. A2AD is comprised of two parts. The anti-access or A2 part of A2AD is used to prevent or constrain forces from entering the conflict or a specified area of operation. The area denial or AD part of A2AD is used to severely slow or reduce enemy freedom of maneuver once inside the designated area of operation. In the most basic sense, A2AD is a defensive device or strategic strategy used to prevent an adversary from gaining access to any domain or traversing freely in the areas of land, sea, space, cyber, electromagnetic warfare, maritime, and air. A2AD has been used throughout history. Today, nations such as China and Russia have built a robust A2AD network protecting their borders. But every major military uses a form of A2AD to protect their forces. Any weapon or technology can be used for A2AD as long as it severely slows or restricts passage and are layered for increased effects. Examples of A2AD are anti-ship, anti-tank, layered coastal defense, and layered air defense. One of the most recognized forms of A2AD is integrated air and missile defense, a prominent concept used by many countries to include the United States, Russia, China, and Israel. As technology advances, so does the capabilities within A2AD. Thank you for watching the Weekly Interceptor on YouTube. Join us next week for more missile defense news.